In today's video, I would like to talk about coping and offering support to an individual that goes through an autistic meltdown. In my previous video, we learned about autistic meltdown, what it is and possible triggers. Today, we will continue with this topic by exploring four coping strategies and support for an autistic meltdown. Coping strategies and support can play a crucial role in managing and minimizing the impact of meltdown. It is important to note that strategies may vary depending on the individual's preferences, needs and sensory sensitivities. Here are some common recommended coping strategies and support techniques for autism meltdowns. First, prevention and environmental modification. This includes routine and predictability. Maintaining a structured and predictable daily routine can help individuals on the autism spectrum feel more secure and reduce anxiety. Sensory considerations. Understanding and addressing sensory sensitivities can prevent sensory overload and minimize the likelihood of meltdowns. Creating a calm and sensory-friendly environment such as reducing noise, providing headphones, using calming lights or offering sensory tools like digit toys can be beneficial. Communication and social supports. Ensuring clear communication channels using visual supports like schedules and providing social stories or social scripts can help individuals understand expectations and reduce frustration. Second, emotional regulation techniques. This includes self-regulation strategies, teaching and practicing self-regulation techniques such as deep breathing exercise, mindfulness, or using sensory calming strategies like weighted blankets or pressure vests can help individuals manage their emotion during stressful situations. Emotional awareness and expression. Encouraging the development of emotional awareness and offering alternative means of expression such as using visual supports, communication boards or assistive technology can facilitate communication and reduce frustration. Third, communication and social support, which includes social skills training. Providing structured social skills training can enhance social interactions, help individuals recognize and understand emotions, and navigate social situations more effectively. Peer support groups. Participating in peer support groups or engaging in social activities with individuals who have similar experiences can provide a sense of belonging and understanding. Therapy and counseling. Access to professional therapists or counselors who specialize in autism can be beneficial for both individuals on the autism spectrum and their families. They can provide guidance coping strategies, and emotional support. Fourth and last, individualized support, which includes person-centered planning, collaboratively developing a person-centered plan that recognizes individual strengths, interests, and needs can help identify personalized coping strategies and supports. Visual supports. Using visual aids such as visual schedule, social stories, or visual reminders can provide clear information to individuals on the autism spectrum, reducing anxiety and facilitating understanding. Scientific research has explored various coping strategies and support techniques for autism meltdowns. However, it is essential to recognize that each individual is unique and what works for one person may not work for another. 
collaborating with professionals including psychologists, occupational therapists, and behavior analysts can help tailor coping strategies and support interventions to meet the specific needs of individuals on the autism spectrum. I hope this video provided you with a better understanding about coping strategies and how to offer support to individuals with autism meltdowns. If you have any questions, type them in the comments below. Also, please hit the like button and subscribe as I will be sharing important information on how to help individuals with autism reach their full potential in my weekly videos. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.